All right, brings us to another section. This is a big sand section, European style. But it's deceiving. It's kind of like soft and hard at the same time underneath. It doesn't really hold you real good. It's kind of slick underneath. Don't really have any good firm lines built in it yet either. And on top of that, there's what I call landmines in the field. There's great big coral boulders. And they get dug up and then the tops of them start to show. Some of these things are that big around. I've hit a couple of them not knowing it. So you always kind of got to be ready for that and know where they are. I know there's one in this corner somewhere, and I know there's one right there in a rut that I stay out of. Because if you're sitting on the seat and you hit that thing, it'll really give you a jar. Probably throw your... I hit it last week and it knocked my feet off the foot pegs and got me really in a swap. But uh, sheer fear and self-preservation caused me to save it. <laughs> But anyway, check out this next sand section. European style's got some chop in it coming up through there and stuff. So we'll get on with it. coming into that sand corner got that weight back on the brakes hard especially the back brake lock up the rear wheel and then from lock up to power stabilizes that bike through that corner and lets that back in swing around the corner a lot more stability and speed coming up this straightaway then you got to get up off the seat and get ready for these braking bumps got the weight back gripping the bike with the knees letting those arms work with the handlebars not against them here we are again, locking up that rear wheel until I can need to get on the power. And then swinging that back end out around the corner. And that lock up is because the ground is so soft. You don't always lock up the rear wheel in a corner. Only if you want to do a little kind of a brake slide, power slide. Okay, next section is right where we left off. Coming into this corner and over this double. Got the sand there. You guys are running the track yesterday. We're making a berm right here because they were coming straight across so I got to get over that berm use a lot of control with my rear brake to set the bike up to hit the double and make it and uh, it looks like you have pretty good traction but it's deceiving because it's hard packed clay right underneath the pebbles and sand there so you got to be real gentle on the throttle good clutch and throttle control to get it hooking up just right without spinning too much Got the weight back, braking, keeping the weight back. And then right here, because I may, I am locking up the rear wheel, I got to pull the clutch in at that point and get that back in and start sliding with me. And then pick up that slide with the clutch and throttle. Good throttle control up the face of the jump. That compression and rebound, using my legs to get that downside just right. And then on down the straightaway. Here is with the helmet cam, you can see the double jump using that throttle control, compression and rebound to launch you off of there and get that downside of that double just right and up the straightaway. All right, moving right along. This next section, after we land the double over there, there's some braking bumps, accelerating and braking bumps in that kind of hard packed sand straightaway. And we have that little single jump that you're slowing down into, into this hump that you turn over and come into this sandy corner there's a big hole right over there and a, like a big square curb bump where it kind of goes from sand to the clay that's really the only decent line in this corner right now last week there was about 10 ruts across here you can pick which one you want but the tracks just been groomed and 
that's the main line right now. So uh, we're going from sand, hard packed sand, to hard clay, to sand in the corner, back to hard clay again right away. Let's figure it out. Here we are coming down the hard pack straightaway. Got the braking bumps. Get the weight back off the single jump. Make sure you land on the front wheel first. Continue to slow down. Up over the hump. On the power down the other side. Then you got to get your weight back when you start braking. Got it. Finger on the clutch. Finger on the front brake. Control on the rear brake. Can't lean it over too far because you got the big bank on the inside. Get it in the corner just right in the rut. Start to accelerate. And then right here I'm going to give it a hard pop with the clutch and throttle to wheelie over that big square hole right there. So I only hit it with the back wheel, not both wheels. Much faster, smoother. Then get it set up for this next corner, get it in the berm. Same thing, off the brakes and on to the power. Here you can see with the helmet cam, that little single jump into the small turn hill. Coming down, you can see that rut now on the inside with the bank on the inside too where you can't lean the bike over very far. And then here's that big hole. You wheelie over and then get up onto the hard pack. Okay, moving right along. Right where I come out of that corner is really one line because of the mud and water on the outside. It's a nice rut though right on the inside. I'm gonna come into that rut and then you got a little step on, step off type thing camel hump in the top, little knuckle in the top. It's real easy to clear when you're carrying some speed. So you want to suck it up a little bit so you don't jump out there too far. So you got the berm, little step on, step off, and then accelerate into that next jump right there that you land right into the corner. But we'll pick that up uh, in our next section. Let's just look at the berm, step on, step off, accelerate down the next straightaway. corner across the hard pack gonna get it into this cushion berm real hard lean it over get on the power slides a little more than I probably wanted it to there but it's okay I wanted to line up on the outside of this jump anyway this on off jump sets me better I'm set up better for this next corner coming in from the outside makes the corner less sharp so you can come in faster land with the front wheel first to get set up for it Here it is with the helmet cam. You can see the cushion, berm on the inside, and here's a little step, step on, step off. <laughs> Again, the camera flattens everything out. A little sharper and uh, bigger than it looks on film. Even the bumps on this straightaway you can't really see. It makes them look flat. Okay, next section is landing this kind of double jump into the corner. Got a little bit of chop and bumps on the inside. It can mess you up if you don't land just right. And then you got an inside line here and an outside line. Uh, right now the inside line is probably a little faster, but I'll take both of them so you can see what it looks like. Track's getting a little dry, but it does have some moisture underneath, so it's not too bad yet. Coming off the jump into the corner, landed a little short, gave me a little extra bump, bounce, but I got my weight back controlling the brakes until I get into the berm. Accelerate out, and here I'm loft in the front wheel over that big hump. Coming into the jump, using that 
my legs to absorb the takeoff so I don't go too high and far. And then getting into the second jump here, doing pretty much the same thing, absorbing the takeoff, staying on the ground. Here's the uh, outside line, same thing with the outside line. Now when you land, you can carry more speed into the corner because of, you got a longer distance. Getting it, getting it into that outside cushion, making my cut where I got the best traction, lofting the front wheel just right, coming in there with your compression rebound, suck it up, get your downside landing just right. Here you can see the landing with the helmet cam, taking the inside line. There's that berm cushion on the inside. And then as you come out, you got the straightaway with the roller whoops in it. Okay, we're into our next section here. We got the double-double, land it, a little bit of chop coming into the corner right here, and then two main lines inside, which right now takes you out to a double single or outside line, which you can get set up for a double-double. And then this is all hard packed down through there. These, these uh, whoops are real deep, and there's like holes right in the second one. So you gotta be careful how you land in it. And then a hard pack straightaway, right following. Okay, let's, let's get it on. Let's analyze it a little bit. Check it out. This section, landing the little double into the corner, taking the outside line here. As I come off the rear brake, I get on the throttle. Always have that finger on the clutch. And then set yourself up right here. Do a little seat bounce off of this first one. And get into that second one. And then jump out far because that second double is real easy to clear. Land on the back wheel and stay on the gas hard. Okay, here I'm taking the inside line. As I land the double, I got to be on the brakes, front and rear brake, controlling the front and rear brake, got a finger on the clutch, controlling the throttle, setting it into the corner, using the brakes until I can get on the clutch and throttle, and then set myself up for the little double single out. Land with the back wheel first and be on the power hard. Okay, here it is from another angle. You can see the compression and rebound of the jump into the corner on the brakes, using that rear brake until I can get on the gas. You know, that's so important, going from braking to accelerating. Here I'm coming off the first jump. You can see how you want to downside that jump just right so you can get down through the whole trough, making it smoother and faster. Then accelerate down the straightaway. Here it is with the helmet cam. Coming off the first double. You can see the second double out there in front of you. As soon as you land the second double, you got to be on the brakes in that chop, keeping your weight back. Control the rear brake. Got a finger on the front brake. As you let the brakes go, you're on to the throttle. Usually when I hit these, I use a little clutch and throttle to give it just the right pop at the rear wheel. Land it, down the straightaway you go.